in this video, I'm going to go over five things you can do today in your life that will help you to raise your energy, to raise your vibrations, to increase that positive energy into your life, and to start to manifest the life of your dreams. And I will go over those things in just a moment. The number one way that I think you can increase your energy to raise your vibration and to start to attract positive things into your life is to practice the process of forgiveness. Now, I know that some of you feel like there are issues in your life that you have so much trouble forgiving. I personally went through quite a bit of trauma as a child. I mean, I dealt with sexual abuse, I dealt with mental abuse, I dealt with physical abuse, and there are a lot of people who have really caused me a lot of pain. But to live in that state every day, to think about those people. Telling the story of your past, of how you've been wronged, is only going to perpetuate the cycle of pain in your life. And if you are wanting to move forward and to let go of all that, then you have to make a conscious choice to let it go. And you do this with the process of forgiveness. That means looking at all the issues in your life, looking at all the things that you've carried with you, because that's all baggage. It's like a backpack full of junk that you don't need to be carrying with you, that is slowing you down and keeping you from getting across that wall that seems to be in your way. And so the only way to get past it is to simply drop it and let it go. Now, that doesn't mean you're gonna forget those situations or that you're going to allow certain people back into your life because you've forgiven those experiences. It just means you're em emotionally, energetically releasing your ties to those issues, to those events, to those experiences, so that you can move forward and are no longer held back by that pain. You don't have to talk to those people. You don't have to make things right with those individuals. You just simply have to acknowledge that this has affected you for so long and make peace with it. Just say, it is what it is. It's happened. I cannot go back and change that. And I may not want to have a change with that individual. So I'm just going to let this go. I'm going to put this aside and hand this over to the universe because there's nothing I can do to change that. And holding on to that anger, holding on to the resentment, holding on to the pain is not helping me and is only causing me more pain. And every time you think about those things, it brings that back up for you. So releasing that pain, forgiving, anything, even the little petty things that you wouldn't want to forgive. I mean, it's easy sometimes when someone pisses you off and you're just going to be petty about something, but honestly, it's not helping you. It's not making your life any easier and it's causing you to be stuck. So let go and make peace with the pain in your life. Another great way to raise your vibration and to increase prosperity and positivity in your life is to practice detachment from negative thoughts and negative reactions. Every day we go through experiences, we are encountering people, we are dealing with situations that may cause us to react in a way that isn't the, the best or the healthiest for us. And we can react emotionally, we can react mentally, we can just have a physical reaction to the experience, but if it's negatively inclined, if it's not our healthiest reaction, then we probably should start detaching ourselves from those outcomes. Here's a great way of doing that. Whenever you are planning to accomplish something or you're gonna take on some activity and you do the activity, you do what you're supposed to do and the outcome is not what you expect, um, just be okay with whatever is gonna happen. Whatever happens is whatever happens. Even though you may be wanting and maybe desiring a specific outcome, just make peace with whatever is. So sometimes the best way to raise your vibration, to raise your energy, is by detaching yourself from the outcome of something that you would like to see in a different way. Detach yourself from the reactions. No longer have the kinds of reactions and just make peace with whatever. And just practice the, meh, it's whatever. Practice that kind of energy because that will help you to lessen the impact something will have on your life and that will allow you to move forward and be uh, your, have your experience uninterrupted so that you can continue to experience prosperity and positive uh, energy. Another great way to raise your energy and your vibration and one of my favorites is to treat yourself. We need to treat ourselves as if we are royalty, as if we are princes and princesses and, and you know that we are worthy of amazing things and we need to be the example to the universe how we should be treated. And so treat yourself. Find something that you can do on a regular basis whether it's once a week or once a month and treat yourself to that activity and try 
try to enjoy that activity as much as possible. For me, I am always finding ways of treating myself. I treat myself to reflexology massages. I treat myself to my favorite ice cream on certain days. I treat myself on a regular basis in some way or another because it's my way of telling myself that I love myself and that I think highly of myself and that I feel great about myself. And because I'm putting that energy out there, the universe comes in and begins to fill in the gaps and does the same for me. For many years, I tried to have others love me to gain others love by doing favors or doing this or doing that doing an activity for them I had the, the the disease to please if you will and it wasn't until I stopped trying to get people to love me and I just began to give myself that love that others began to take their cue from me and began to give me that love as well and so now it's your turn now it's your turn to shift that energy around and just to treat yourself and to do for yourself what it is that you want to do for yourself and then the universe will come in and fill in the gaps and then you can start to receive that from others as well. Tip number four on how you can increase your vibration and to elevate yourself energetically is by creating something in a state of contraction. Meaning that throughout our day, throughout our week, throughout our lives, we may experience uh, things that cause us to contract. You know, it's one of those experiences where something happens and it causes us to become small, to become minute and to feel insignificant. And it's a state of disempowerment. And that state is just going to completely destroy your positive energy. And what you have to do is first, you know, if you are in that moment, if you're in the state of that happening, give yourself a chance to have that experience, feel it fully, and then decide to let it go and tr let it drop away. And as soon as you can, go ahead and begin to begin to create something new for yourself, create something new in the world. Because by experiencing pain, by experiencing fear, it causes our energy to contract like a ball. But whenever we create something, whether through our Art, through music, through activity, um, through words, then by creating something new, we actually cause our energy to expand and go back out. And so the state of contraction, the state of fear is going to reduce and lower our vibration, our energy, and make us susceptible to a energy virus, so to speak. It's going to cause us to become infected with negativity. And so by creating something in your life, in any way, shape, or form, you are expanding your energy back out and you're aligning with growth with potential and with prosperity so that's a really great way for you to be able to elevate your energy as well the last tip and i think one of the most useful tips i can give you is to use media use books use other spiritual teachers or saints to brainwash yourself every single day i have to remind myself that I am aligned with prosperity, that I am aligned with positive things, that I'm a person of love and light and that I deserve the very best and that I am loved. And it's something I have to remind myself of every single day because it is so easy for us in our everyday hustle and bustle and dealing with very human experiences to forget that and to fall prey into the victimization mentality. So every day you have to find ways to remind yourself to brainwash yourself into knowing these things about yourself into knowing who you are and how magnificent you are and you know at first it may sound like you're lying to yourself but that's because you may have started off with a very low sense of self-esteem and self-value and worth but as you practice this you practice this you practice this you'll get better at it and you can do so by every day you know starting by looking at yourself in the mirror and telling yourself you are beautiful you are wonderful you have amazing things to contribute and to bring into the world another way of doing that is by listening to your favorite enlightenment teachers or listening to your spiritual guides and healers. We have tons of them on YouTube, tons of them all over the world. And listen to their tapes, listen to their meditations, you know, follow along and listen to it until it becomes such a repetitive thing in your mind that it's a constant reminder of who you are. As soon as you listen to it, you feel inspired. One of the things that I love to do is to watch comedies because comedies make me laugh and they remind me to not take life so seriously sometimes and to just enjoy things and make 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 a mockery out of anything that we do here. And so just watching a comedy or listening to something that's inspirational in the morning will get your energy revved up and get you to start to feel more enlightened, more um, vibrationally high, and you'll start to pull in more positive and like energy. If you want more videos like this, go ahead 
and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share with your friends. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. If you're on Facebook, go ahead and like my page and follow so that you can see more videos like this. If you'd like to work one-on-one -on -one with me so that I can help you move past some of your blocks and move forward in prosperity, then go ahead and head over to my website at www.fernandamarone.com and go down to the Spiritual Life Coaching link. I look forward to our next video together. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.